Hold on, guys. We can do it, we can do it! Son of a gun. Man. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Check it out, it's the Skydio. Today's gonna be the first uh, flight test. Got my son Kian over here. He's gonna help me film. I'm up on Maui, up Poli Poli. And we're gonna start launching here and have it track us into the woods over there. We're actually camping. We're gonna go into the woods and then we're gonna see how far it can track us in the woods with the phone and maybe the module. And then we're gonna hop in the truck. We have our truck back there we're camping in and we're gonna try to drive and track us out to the road and do some kind of higher speed tracking and also some four x four tracking and see how all this works. So I'm gonna set this up and let's get started. Okay, so for the setup, I'll just run through this real quick since this is kind of the first time I've done this on camera out in the wilderness for the flight test. As you can see, I have the beacon in the case it comes with. Remember, you can get that aftermarket case that you can store a bunch of stuff in, but it seems like the beacon fits in here, but the controller doesn't. I have the controller over in the truck, and we'll try that in a later review, but today we're just using the beacon and the phone for all this stuff. So we'll take out the Skydio. Slap on the battery pack. Remember, these are magnetic batteries. I do have like a 32 or 64 gig high speed card in there for the 4K. And you can see how that just magnetizes right there. Probably a good time right now to make sure that all the cameras are clear. So I just went ahead and wiped those with a cloth. It does come with a little cloth in the package so you can just wipe them, make sure they're clean because these guys are gonna be detecting everything around the drone, right? So there are six cameras on the top and the bottom. So I'm just gonna give those a good little wipe here. And then of course the front camera right here, use that same cloth and give it a good wiping. So that's good to go. Then of course, just taking off the gimbal lock, just basically pulling it down. See how easy that was. And turning them on, just holding in the battery. Until we see those lights come on on the front, pushing and holding it in. Setting her down. I'm gonna go ahead and record my screen so you guys can see what's happening. And I'm gonna boot up the Skydio app right here on my phone. And it's automatically connecting because we connected before. If you guys haven't seen the um, unboxing, I show how to do all this stuff initially. So all we need to do is begin flight. So I'm gonna click on it there, begin flight. And it's starting Skydio autonomy. I'm not gonna use this little um, beacon right now. I'm gonna just use the phone. Maybe we'll turn the beacon on if it has some trouble. Now it's saying unsafe to launch, so I'm gonna step back. And you see how, just from me stepping back, it's saying that it's safe to launch now. Taking video in 4K, I think this is 60 frames per second. Let me just check. HDR, we're at 30. Let's go ahead and go up to 60 in HDR and see how that all does. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and launch. We just have to hold to launch and it automatically starts recording. Okay. Nice. So you see how it has a plus on me there? So I'm just gonna press plus on me and that's gonna track me. Go ahead and zip up this case because we're gonna carry this case with us. And that's it, pretty much. Then all we need to do is start walking. So you can see on the actual, um... come on guys. You can see on the actual screen how it has a circle going around me. And I just basically have the Skydio bag with me here. And we can do all these adjustments here. So we can increase the range by just pressing the plus. See that? I think it detected Kian back there. <laughs> and what we'll do now is we'll follow from the front. So I'm just going to press the F and it should swing around to the front. Let's see if it does that. Let's adjust our height. There we go. Not sure why it's not coming around. There it goes, slowly coming around to the front. Let's go a little higher. Let's increase our range a little bit. There we go. 
So now it's trying to get around to the front of me. Cool. All right, so let's see how it kind of navigates through these trees. So we're still gonna walk. And let's just see what it does. So it's still recording. I have it to try to be in the front of me, but of course that's not working. So let's go left and let's maybe narrow the range a little bit since we're going through some pretty uh, thick forest now. Let's see how it does this. Yeah, so it's trying to navigate all of these branches on its own. Cool, doing good so far. We're gonna kind of see how um, you know, the lighting is too. Remember, it's recording in HDR mode on the phone. And we're gonna walk through this little cove here and see how it navigates all this stuff. This should be kind of interesting. So it's getting me from the side. Let's see if it squeezes in here. Wow, we're getting into some pretty tight trees and it's still able to do it. There's Ken following. So it's also kind of avoiding him and avoiding the branches on its own. That's pretty awesome. I don't know how much further we can get in this area. So we're just gonna come up here, see what it does through this little cove. Let's see if it can try to squeeze through it. Whoa, it still got me, but it's trying to pick a different angle. That's cool. <laughs> Neat. So remember, this one analyzes its surroundings and really tries to keep track while moving around to the best route. Okay, it lost me for a second, I saw on the screen, and now it regained really quickly. So perhaps if I would have been going a lot faster, I would have possibly like, um, been lost for good, you know what I mean? And that might be where the beacon will come into play, where you can actually have the beacon in your pocket and it can, it'll go above the trees and it'll track you a little better. Okay, so now it's in the front. Say I want to increase the range. I'm gonna push plus a bit. Okay, it's not gonna go back any further. I'm gonna increase the height a bit. And there's trees in its way. It's trying to avoid them. That's pretty cool, increasing the height. All right, let's try maybe from this height. We're at 64% power, remember? Looking on the top of the screen there, everything's recording. It says you have all your telemetry up there one tells you your mile per hour the feet which looks like to the home position and it's 20 feet away from us let's see how it negotiates under this tree here just walking back let's see what it does yeah easy for it to get through and remember, it's not going to hit any people because it can see them all. A little bit of low light here. Hopefully it can see the tree. Nice. So it's just doing all this on its own. All I'm doing is looking at the screen once in a while and walking around. Let's see what happens if I go under here. We'll come in kind of tight. See how it's going around on its own. And we will follow from the back and then we'll reduce the range so it's coming in kind of tight and let's see how it will no negotiate going through these trees 
It may not even be able to do it, but let's just try it. It's looking for a spot to come in. Let's see if it'll come in. Nope, it doesn't want to follow me here, so I'm gonna press okay. You see those little branches hanging down? It just doesn't want to do anything. So definitely, oh, it just came in, okay. <laughs> so it was looking for a hole and it just came in on its own. Now I doubt it's gonna be able to go this way. Let's just try it. Still tracking me pretty good though for this kind of like in and out of light. And remember, I'm just like walking like really slow. Whoa, so it lost me for a second there in the trees. So I guess you don't really wanna be doing this kind of um, tracking like in trees like this with it. Cause that's as far as it can go. But it still sees me. It just doesn't really know how to negotiate these really tight trees because it sees them so well. So we're gonna try to go out here and see if it can come out. See what it does, lost subject. Okay, so it basically lost me. Let's see if it'll retrack if I come over here. Okay. It found me again. Let's see if we can get out of here. Oh, it's losing again. <laughs> oh, wow. I was having a little trouble around this tree here and in this strange light. So I'm gonna press plus on me again. Okay. It won't hit, you can. You can see how it's seeing all these branches and just trying to figure out what to do. So now that it has a good lock on me, let's try to exit this and have it come out. Okay, light's getting a little dark, you see that? So it's a little hard for it maybe to see branches. Let's see what it does. It's looking for a hole. and it lost the subject. Okay. It sees my car over there. <laughs> All right, tracking me again. Let's go this way, see if it can come out. Wow, lost the subject again, huh? There we go. Okay, come on out. So these kinds of situations, guys, um, this is what it's probably the worst at, is really tight trees like this. It's not gonna hit them, but it seems like it's gonna have trouble tracking because it will lose a subject because it's trying to find a hole. There it goes, so it found that hole there. And we're back into the open. Okay, still tracking. Let's see what happens if I just kind of run into the trees here. What will it do? We'll just go slow, do a slow jog. And this is tight, coming in tight, so I imagine it's probably gonna lose me pretty quickly. And I am walking pretty slow now. That's not bad though. As long as you have some kind of a little bit of an open trail. That's pretty cool. Still sees me, still tracking. Uh oh, looks like it's just about to lose me because it stopped and now it's starting again. Ooh, it's really close to that tree, isn't it? <laughs> it's trying to figure out a way around that tree and it lost track. So it's just hovering there waiting. Let me try and walk back and see if it can get through. That's not really a too precarious situation. It should be able to get through there. I'm gonna lessen the range all the way. Yeah, it just keeps, 
keeps having trouble. Let's just see if it can get through this. For some reason, it doesn't want to go to its right at all. Because there is a hole there for it. Come on! Come on through. It doesn't want to go around that tree. Weird. You see how it just kind of turned and the camera got all weird? So now this is where you can take over. If it's kind of funky, there's key in there. So I'm just pressing the controls on the screen to kind of get it back on me. And then I'm gonna press track on myself. Yeah, so maybe a little bit weird in situations like this, you're gonna need a, like a little bit of a wider trail. So what we'll do is I'll just walk back out because it can't surpass this. And you can see from my hat cam that this is a kind of a narrow hole, but it's not too narrow, you know what I mean? Whoa, it found that hole and it went right through by Kian. Still tracking me. And there's, let's see how it negotiates all these branches. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, it's like, oh, what do I do? Like stuck in these branches over there. The only hole it has is right here. Oh, I just heard it clip a branch. There we go. So I had one little, first little branch nick, I heard that. It seems to be flying okay still. There we go, found the hole, hole shot, came on out. And it's tracking again, cool. Let's see if we can track on Kian. Let's see, how do we do this? I'm gonna have to go back maybe. There we go, let's track Kian. So Kian, just try to walk that way for a bit while you're filming it. And let's see how it tracks you if I'm holding the phone. Just keep going back up the driveway. Try to jog a little bit quickly. All right, cool. Well, it's tracking him, no problem. All right. Let's increase the range and the height from my phone. Okay. All right. Now let's have him come back. Let's see if it'll do an orbit. Low battery. Oh, it's gonna land soon. So let's see what it, how it deals with this, if it has to land. He's gonna run back. Minute left of flight time. Okay, cool. Still tracking him. Let's get our range in and our height down. And I'm gonna try to capture this thing. So I'll just steer it for me. See these controls on the screen? Steer it forward and turn it away from me. Let's try to do a hand capture. And if I just hold to land, let's see if we can do this. There you go, easy peasy. Lands and it's saying low battery and it stopped the recording. All right, pretty cool. Well, let's put the new battery in and hop in the truck there and we'll do some truck tracking and some four wheeling tracking and see how that does. All right guys, so I got the Sky Deal. I got a fresh battery in it and we're just packed up from camping. We're gonna go out here and do some road tracking and also some four by four in the forest tracking. Let's see if it can even launch from the hood of a car. Let that sucker boot up, step inside here, and um, we'll kind of take you along the ride with us. And of course, I'm going to have the Skydio footage up, right, and all that stuff. And this time, we'll launch the Skydio app, and I'm also going to do our little um, beacon here. So I've got the beacon here. Now, this will give you even better accuracy, and it'll kind of allow it to fly even without the phone. I just want to have the phone up so I can kind of see my, um, you know, video of what it's taken. Turn on the beacon here by holding the power there till we get the Skydio insignia on the screen. We'll let that boot up. It should all kind of auto connect. 
There you go. Connect phone to beacon. Please connect phone to beacon for stronger connection strength. All right. Go into our Wi-Fi settings. And instead of connecting directly to the Skydio, we're going to wait and we're going to connect to the beacon, right? So there we go. Connecting to the beacon, calibrating. And there we go. So now we can begin flight. So I'm going to just have my phone right here. I'll go ahead and begin flight. Starting the autonomy engine. And of course, it's kind of slanted where it's sitting on the truck, but it says it's ready to launch and ready to fly on the beacon as well. It's saying zero satellites. So maybe I'll give that a second just to lock on to some satellites while we get kind of prepped to go. Okay, now the beacon's got a couple of satellites. Let's go ahead and launch this thing. So hold to fly. So I'm holding down this little blue button. Okay, now it's doing GPS tracking, interesting. So, um, it's not really tracking us. <laughs> it thinks we're over there, all right. Anyway, let's start moving and see if it can kind of lock onto us. So, look kind of looking at the screen as I fly. And let's see what it does. All right, there we go. So it sees the truck, look at that. So there's a diamond on the truck. What do I do? Do I press on this? Beacon GPS is uh, insufficient. Okay, so it's gonna like drop in and out of the beacon GPS. So I guess I'll just hold the beacon up here like this. And so it's following kind of close. I have it at the back. Cool, so I wanna go more of a distance so i'm pressing this plus button and it's kind of flying away and then i also want to change the angle so i'm going to go from the left side let's see what it does whoa whoa <laughs> nice okay so let's see how far we can go on our distance so i'm pressing again on the distance the plus looks like that's about as far as we can go you see how i'm pressing the distance tracking the truck let's keep spinning it around this is going to be i want to do left front nice so it's still going around as we're following the truck And it looks like here you can um, maybe kind of combine the beacon and your phone. Let's see if we press up in height, if it gets a little higher. Yeah, see how it's going higher? And then I want to press plus on the range. Will that do it? Or minus on the range, let's see. Okay, that's coming in closer. So you can still control it from your phone, which is good to know. I want to go as far as away as we can. That looks like that's a, kind of about it. Let's get on the road here and get up a little bit of speed. And you can see on the phone if it, if it kind of loses track or it thinks it's better for it to track with this beacon, it kind of switches on its own. That was kind of neat. So we'll come down here. Maybe I want a different angle. Uh, coming down here. Let's see. Oh, this is a good angle. Come straight down. This is pretty steep right here. Whoa. Doesn't look steep on the Skydio camera, but it's pretty darn steep. Steep enough for my back fender to kind of scrape a little bit. Okay, we're just going to keep on going, and the Skydio is going to follow. Nice. Let's give it some different angles. Let's go from the left. See how it kind of deals with the mountain and everything. Cool. Letting this car pass. 
<laughs> this is kind of neat, man. The Skydio is doing really, really good. Let's try to pick up some speed and switch some angles here. So I just switched to back left. Remember, it's looking at the hill too and flying. That's pretty cool. Let's go strictly in the back of us. I'm only going about 20 miles per hour. Let's go back right, switch in, nice. Okay, it's doing good so far. Let's see how it negotiates these trees. There we go. Let's follow from the front right real quick. It's negotiating very, very well so far. Now it's up on the hill on that side, remember? That's the hillside and it's, it's knowing to avoid the hill and everything. That's pretty cool. I do have one more. I charged up the second battery too. So um, if we need to land it and do another battery, we can. Changing positions really easily with the beacon as I'm holding it in my hand and just watching my screen here in the truck. Cool. So it's following from the front. Woo. That's pretty cool. That's kind of freaky. Hey guys, what's up? We're in the front driving. You see that key on the screen? <laughs> There's Ian taking his video. Okay, let's bring it up. Let's bring it around from. Um, go in here because we want to get some off-roading done here. Whoa! Oh, there's a chicken right there in the on the side of the road. Look, Jin, can you see that? So nice. See that chicken right there? A bunch of well, a bunch of chickens. Okay, so following, let's do, we don't want to do back left because that's in the trees. We want to do the other side. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even realize that. It's changing on the screen of the, whoa. Let's see how it avoids these trees right here. Okay, now it's right in front of us. It's changing really well. It's changing positions awesomely. This is awesome. Okay, here we go. We're going to go in these trees, and I ha I'm having it right in the front of us. Look at those trees. Let's see how it avoids them. Woo! <laughs> it's going around them. Oh, nice. Sweet. Okay. Let's see what it does. There's a bunch of low-hanging trees right here. There's dust. It's pulling away. It's still filming. Whoa, and I'm peeling out. I need some uh, crawl control. Let's let's hit our crawl control on there. There we go. Crawl control on. No problem. Let's get to the front right a little bit more so we can see this angle. All right. A little farther to the right. We'll go this way a little bit faster. Oh, this beacon seems like it's working really good. I want to kind of get it a little farther distance. So I'm pressing the plus button there. What's our power? 52%. All right. Let's get it back over to the front of the truck. Get it going up this hill. Now I'm, I selected directly in front. Man, this is a pretty good sky cam, man. Pretty awesome. Of course, it's gonna try to avoid everything. Quick turn. Let's see how it deals with this. I want it to get around to the back. So I'm just keep hitting it till it gets to the back. Nice. All right, and I hope this magnet holds my phone. Let's try to get it from the back left where the trees are and see what it does. If it avoids these trees. See those trees right there in camera? Nice, it's avoiding them.
Doing a little kicking. Back to the front. And I'm going to cross over a branch here that fell down. Ooh. Sorry, Forerunner. 45% power. Too close. I want it to go farther away. I'm pressing the plus button. Okay, this is the hairy um, <laughs> spot right here. Look at this. I'm going to keep it in the front of the truck while I do this um, really tough situation. So we're doing crawl control. Oh boy. Wait, I want it to get the truck. So it looks like it's going behind the tree. So let me go over to the right side and get this. This will be kind of cool. And I want it to be a little closer. Let's see if it can do that. Okay, so you might have to wait for it to kind of position itself. And I want to get it a little farther away. Not that far, maybe this far, a little closer. There, I kind of want the front right spot there. Okay, let's go. So this should be crawl control. See if we can get over this. Ooh, holy smokes. Well, <laughs> oh man. Woo, it's doing it. And the foreigner's doing it. That's a tough spot right there. Okay, it's avoiding those people and we want to avoid them too. Coming around this tree. Let's get back on point. Now remember, this is super obstacle avoidance, so it seems like it's doing really well. Whoa, hold on guys. <laughs> Ooh, let's get that crawl control going. I want a front right shot. Switching it to front right. There we go. Man, that was kind of a slippery spot right there. I like this front right angle. That's really good for a 4x4. Four four. We're already only at 31% power. Let's get our distance a little further. All right, cool. And it's avoiding everything, man. I'm probably going to have to stop it up here pretty soon and switch the batteries. That may be what's a little bit to be desired for this one here is the battery life. I'm just gonna do kind of a circle going from the side, back right. Strictly from the, the rear. Let's try to see what it does negotiating these trees right here. It's gonna run into these trees as I'm bringing it around the right and see what it does. Woo! Okay, it switched the GPS tracking because those trees got in the way. All right, it's trying to figure out what to do. Come on up and over, buddy. There we go, nice. I'm gonna go strictly to the left side where all the trees are and see how it negotiates this. We're getting low on power, 25%. Let's go to the left front. What I'm noticing is sometimes it doesn't take, so you gotta keep clicking the button. Big branch right here. Okay, now this is kind of a hairy spot. Let's see, yeah, so it's trying to get up and over. I'm gonna change from the front view. So what I'm gonna do guys is get out, land it. Yeah, okay, crawl control turned off when I put it in park. I'm going to land it, guys, and um, I'm going to switch the battery because see that 18%? I don't want to do this extra length um, with only that much battery power. I'm pressing negative to bring it in close. Okay. So let's let it come in close. So say you only have your beacon right here. 
and I kind of want to land it right here so I'm gonna press red and just land it put my hand right under it really carefully I should probably be doing that from the back but there we go so that worked pretty well so launching three two one that's awesome how it syncs up to the phone I love that Woo! kind of slid down the truck hood a little bit yikes all right back in business tracking it's finding the truck all right we need to start moving because right now it thinks it's in the back of the truck So maybe a little bit funny how it thinks it's in the back of the truck right now. Let's go on the side here. Okay, this is like a really hairy spot where I couldn't get up without using my um, locker. This this uh, Forerunner Pro has a locker on it. So we'll just keep getting these shots. I want to get it a little farther away. That's a tad too close. You see that up there, guys? Can you take a look at that um, that hill with the camera? This is going to be nuts right here. We're going to definitely be slipping in the... Let's just try the crawl control first. Let's get this thing going around the side so we can really see what's happening with the wheels. Whoa. Yeah, so we're just totally slipping with the crawl control. See that? <laughs> we got like no traction. So I'm going to stop it. And kind of reverse. Woo! Yeah, that was nuts. I thought those small, those small buttons were um, orbits, those circles there. Okay, there we go. There's an orbit. You see how I'm pressing this on the screen? Guys, I'll have that up. I'm going to hit orbit. And it's, is that a little bit fast? I don't know. We'll just try it. I'm going to slide it down to a slower type of orbit. And we'll raise our height up a little bit so we can see the wheels. There we go. All right, so I'm not going to be able to get up this. Let's try one more time with just the crawl control. Put it back in drive. Crawl control. I'm going to take this left line here a little bit further to the left. It's just really wet. Yeah, this is even using the crawl control, and there's like no way I'm going anywhere. Hopefully, you guys can see just these tires just spinning like that. See, so we're just spinning. All right, so we're gonna go down here. I think I do have it on orbit, but it's not, it can't orbit because the tree's in the way. That's probably what's happening. Let's try it orbit the other way. All right, here we go. So we're gonna put on the, the, the locker. So where's the locker? Where's our locker? There's our locker. So we'll just press it in on the top. There we go. So our locker just clicked in. Now I'm going to try the crawl control. Let's see if we can get up this thing. We're still super spinning tires. It's too wet. I can't get anywhere. Oh. I can't get nowhere. Even with the locker, huh? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm going to have to bypass that or just go fast up it. The locker is on. Maybe we'll just try to hit it a little faster. Okay, I'm going to kind of floor it up. Hold on, guys. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we're stuck right here. Come on, come on. Oh, okay. A little better. 
man, I think we can make it. I think I just got to pick a different line. We were getting stuck right in that little lump up there. Okay. So I'm not, I don't know, the orbit's not working here because there's trees. I'm just going to do motion track and just have it on a certain, you know, side of us. Let's do the front. Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Just trying to track. Whoa, don't hit the truck. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to floor it now. Here we go. Hold on, guys. We can do it. We can do it. Son of a gun. Man. This is the hard, hardest core I've ever done this thing. Beacon GPS insufficient. You're getting that once in a while. Okay, last line. Here we go. Hold on tight, Ian. Oh, damn. Whoa, okay. Um, <laughs> hold on, you guys. We need the rear to spin around to the front. Just hang on. Okay, we straightened out. That was freaky. I think we're gonna be done with this this one right here. That was super freaky. We went sideways and it felt like we were gonna flip over. We're just burning drone power, aren't we? There we go. Whoa, it's really wet right here. That's like super wet. Let me get this crawl control on and see if it can do it. Come on. Crawl control, go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope. Okay. Reverse. Okay, I'm done trying that hill. It's just too wet for it. Whoa. Don't rip my fender off. Oh my gosh. Woo! Oh boy. Am I on the fender? Oh crap. This is kind of nuts. We may be getting stuck. I'm gonna try to get us out of the sitch. Relation. Reverse. There we go. Yikes! Oh man, we're like on a hump. I feel like I feel like my fenders are tweaking. Let me take a look real fast. This is nuts. Ooh. Oh crap. A rear fender's popping off. Yikes. Son of a guys. It really screwed us up by going up there. this and kind of back out of here okay don't rip my fenders off Okay, I think we're good. Woo! 
My goodness gracious. That was nuts. <laughs> okay. Out of here. Man, we're at 34% power. Let's get it kind of out of the road. I gotta assess my fenders real quick. Yep, a little bit of damage there, rear fender. And man, that sucker was way on there. That looks like that's about it though. Front fender. Oh good, everything's okay on the front. Just that left rear. Kind of weird. All right, well, let's get somewhere where we can kind of park and uh, assess this. Let's drive up and we'll see how it does here. Following a little faster on the hillside. Ooh. A little bit of orbit here. I want it to be on the right front. All right, working well. Everything's still working. Front view, follow from farther away. Let's see how it negotiates those trees behind it. Woo! <laughs> Seatbelt panic attack. All right, I'm going to pull right over here on the side. I'm going to go behind it so it's out of people's view, out of people's way. And I think we're going to land it here. All right. There we go. All right, what an ordeal. Let's get back inside the car here and do our final assessment. What do you think, guys? Was that nuts? Do you think we're gonna flip over? Are you okay? <laughs> okay, well, we did it. Let's kind of do our final pros and cons on this whole trip. We did the forest kind of walking and we also did the truck, the truck tracking, the car tracking. And uh, we got kind of in a precarious situation. I thought I was gonna be able to go through that with the locker, I've done it before, but it seemed a little more wet today. So um, hopefully that was kind of fun for you guys. I'm gonna have to, the only thing that I'm a little worried about is my back left fender kind of popped out a little bit. I'm gonna have to assess that, but everybody survived. We didn't roll over. Sorry guys, that was a little crazy. Um, but it seems like it's kind of hard to land with just the uh, beacon. As far as the phone went though, on the uh, Skydio app, that was pretty good. Of course, we didn't do any long range flying yet. Uh, a couple of pros and cons. In the forest, it did good if it has a little bit of an open trail. If you get into really tight forest, it's gonna stop and it's not gonna be able to follow you. It did nick a twig one time, but there's obviously no damage at all if you don't want to use your phone you don't have to throw this like in your backpack if you're on a bike and you can go ahead and do that or like maybe mount this on your bike and you can change your situations your area your uh, angles this does turn into a menu and then you can choose more of those options but if you did want to just use your phone you could always just use the motion track switch between motion track you saw those other modes briefly when i was recording it so at least you can do it that way. But if you're on a bike, I'd recommend just having this with you if you want it to be as hands-free as possible. It did really good if there was at least, you know, like a car size opening, it could, it could kind of negotiate it. It's just gonna stay there if you're just using your phone, if it gets lost. But if you are using the beacon, that's what, what's so awesome about it, is it will fly up and away and then it will know where your position is with the beacon and it will try to get back into visual tracking and then track you again so that was pretty awesome flight time maybe a little bit uh to be desired i'll have the numbers up on the two 
flights I did, actually the three flights. That's kind of the only thing for me is the flight time when you're trying to do all these things and track yourself. Just remember, maybe get a couple of batteries because it seemed like it was maybe only 15 to 20 minutes flight time, like real world. Because what it's trying to do is it's trying to give the motor power bursts and fly around to keep that position and avoid obstacles. So there's a lot of processing power on board here. So it's going to use quite a bit of power. Remember, I do have the controller that you can put your phone in and I'll be doing range tests and all kinds of stuff on that too seeing how the obstacle avoidance is on the regular controller. So stay tuned for that. This was just like the first flight te test video. And I really wanted to run it through a lot of these paces that it's touted to be able to do as far as uh, tracking moving objects and avoiding obstacles was my main objectives here. And we also saw kind of how it can deal with bright and low light situations like in the forest. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll have the links in the description of where to get the Skydio. And also don't forget to check the pop-up here that's going to be the playlist and i'll also have the playlist down in the uh, description below on behalf of uh, me kian and sanaya thanks for hanging in there guys even though it's a super scary um, we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching